Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be replacing the display assembly on a 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro. Although the display is working, the anti-reflective coating has started to come off and it has several stuck pixels, both very common issues on the Retina MacBook Pro, so I'm going to be replacing the display with a new one. First of all, shut the MacBook Pro down and disconnect the MagSafe. Then turn it face down on the desk. You can use something soft like a towel or a cloth to prevent scratches to the lid. There are 10 screws to remove, four each at the front and back and one to either side. These are Apple's proprietary pentalobe screws. You can buy a pentalobe screwdriver on eBay very cheaply. Don't try to use a Phillips or a Torx screwdriver to open these as you'll invariably end up stripping them. Although the screws look the same, they're actually slightly different sizes, so make sure you remember which screw goes where. I laid them out on a piece of paper in the same place I removed them from. With the screws removed, we can take off the rear cover. Lift the cover up from the back and rotate it forwards. You'll find that it takes a little bit of force as there are still magnets securing the cover in the middle. With the back cover removed, we can see the internals of my MacBook Pro. The first thing I noticed is a massive amount of dust, so I'll be cleaning that out later. For now though, let's concentrate on the display. Before doing anything else, disconnect the battery connector from the motherboard by using the flat end of a spudger and rotate it up out of the way. Next, by the right fan, you'll see the airport and Bluetooth board we need to disconnect the three antenna cables. These should pop straight up from the board. I inserted the pointed end of a spudger under the cable near the connector and pulled it straight up. Be careful with these as the connectors are quite fragile. Underneath the antenna cables, you'll see the camera connecting cable. This should be pulled straight out of its connector parallel to the motherboard. Don't lift it straight up or you could end up pulling the socket from the logic board. With the cables disconnected, they can be pulled up from the fan. They're glued to the top of the fan with a mild adhesive. Now remove the cables from the cable guide to the right. At this point we can remove the triangular rubber hinge screw covers from either side to expose the six hinge screws. These are stuck to the screws with a small piece of double sided tape. Right next to the hinge screws is the metal hinge cover which is held in place by a single Torx T5 screw. Remove these from both sides. Now we can disconnect the display data cable from the logic board. Rotate the metal securing tab towards the cable end of the connector and then pull the cable straight out parallel to the board. With all of the cables now disconnected, we're ready to remove the display. Start by removing two of the three Torx T8 screws from either side, leaving the ones nearest the middle in place for the time being. Once the four screws have been removed, lift the laptop onto its side and open the lid. Open the screen to just over 90 degrees and remove the remaining lower screw while securing the laptop with your other hand. and then remove the top screw, again holding the laptop in place with your other hand. With these last two screws removed, you should be able to separate the two halves by rotating the lower part away from you while holding the lid with your left hand. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to do something about all of the dust. So I'm using a rocket blower to blow the dust off the motherboard, concentrating on the areas around the fans. 
Don't use cans of compressed air as they can cause moisture in the atmosphere to condense on the board and form water droplets. I'm also using Q-tips with 100% isopropyl alcohol to clean the fans and the surrounding areas. This is the new screen I bought. It's brand new and still in the plastic and I paid around 180 euros on eBay. Apple charges almost 600 euros for this same repair. To attach the new screen we're basically doing the exact opposite of what we did to remove the old one. Open up the hinges on the screen to just over 90 degrees and line them up with the holes on the lower case and then replace one screw in the top and one screw in the bottom, taking care not to trap any of the cables. Now you can close the lid and put the laptop face down again while you replace the other screws. When replacing the screws on the right, make sure that they go through the grounding loop for the antenna cables as they were before. Once all six screws have been replaced, we can reconnect the display data cable. Make sure that the cable is perfectly lined up. Push the connector straight into its socket, making sure that it's all the way in. And then rotate the metal securing lock to hold it in place. Now on the other side reroute the antenna cables into the cable guides next to the fan. You may need to use a thin tool to help you with this but be careful not to damage the cables. The cables can then be reattached to the top of the fan. The camera cable can be plugged back into its socket on the logic board and the three antenna cables can be reattached to the Wi-Fi Bluetooth board by positioning them directly over the connector and pushing them straight down. Replace the two hinge covers, the rubber screw covers, and finally reconnect the battery. Now, before replacing the bottom cover, I'm just going to power on the laptop to make sure that it's working properly. Okay, I get the white Apple logo, which is a good sign. And we're into OS X and the screen appears to be working perfectly. All that's left to do now is to peel off the plastic and to replace the bottom cover. Make sure that you replace the screws in the same place you removed them from. This repair took a total of around one hour and you'll need a pentalobe screwdriver, a Torx T5 screwdriver, a Torx T8 screwdriver and a nylon spudger with a flat end and a pointed end. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching.